Hello everyone and welcome to our Cake Course channel. Today I will show you how to make decor that will delight both children and adults. These impressive, interesting, and unusual lollipop rattles. But first, I want to share some great news with you. We've created an absolutely amazing basic course on working with ice malt. You can learn how to properly heat and color ice malt, and most importantly, you will find out the four ways to store it. We will explain and show you how to store it so that it does not get sticky or cloudy. You can find the link to the course with more detailed information about it below this video. During the course, you will be able to ask questions and I personally will answer them. So let's start making our lollipop rattles. To make them, you will need a special silicone mold, which consists of two parts. The bottom, into which we will pour the sprinkles, and the lid. These are two of our favorite molds. One of the molds gives you three different shaped lollipops at once. The other is shaped like a maze. Imagine how interesting it would be for a child to get an edible toy such as this. So let's get to work. We melted the ice malt and waited a little until all the bubbles disappeared. Now the temperature of the ice malt is 160 degrees Celsius. It can be higher, but in no case lower, since the ice malt needs to be sufficiently fluid. This way it will easily fill the narrow spaces and sharp corners of the molds. A flat work surface is also important. A small slope or bump will not allow the ice malt to spread evenly and the size of the lollipops will then be of different thickness. Pour the ice malt first into the bottom part of the mold. Fill it to the brim. Do not rush and be careful for the ice malt to not flow outside of the mold. Then fill the lids. We prefer to fill them only up to the middle so that the lid comes out thin and the lollipop does not look too massive and heavy. Now we will insert the skewers and screw them in for better fixation. Use any suitable object to prop them up from underneath for them to lie parallel to the table. Remove any surface air bubbles with a burner. The bottom of the maze we will fill with this matte ice malt. On an opaque background, the sugar beads, which we will afterwards place inside, will stand out better. Remember that the higher the temperature of the ice malt, the easier it will spread inside the mold, and the better it will fill the many narrow niches of the maze. So to fill this mold, it is better to use very hot ice malt. Fill the mold carefully with a thin stream of ice malt. Try to fill in all the spaces. Insert the skewer, screw it in, and prop it up. Remove the emerging bubbles with a burner and leave the lollipops out to cool. It is better if the lollipops cool down to no lower than 30 to 40 degrees Celsius. If they lie out for too long, they might absorb moisture from the air and could then become cloudy or crack from the temperature difference when you start to warm them up with a burner. Take the bottoms out of the mold. They come out with walls such as these which give us an opportunity to place sprinkles inside. First, heat all of the parts with a burner to rid them of surface bubbles and make the ice malt transparent. Heat carefully so that the parts don't melt. Do not hold the burner over one spot for too long or heat the sides of the lollipop. Otherwise, you might deform the candy and then you will not be able to connect the parts so nicely and neatly. When heating, the most important thing is to remove the bubbles in the center so that in the future, the sprinkles could be seen. Now the bottoms should cool down so that the sprinkles won't stick to them and will roll around freely inside the lollipop. Now that the bottoms have cooled down, let's get the lids out and add the sprinkles. When choosing beads and sprinkles, it's important to keep their size in mind. 
Big sprinkles might not allow us to close the lid. Add them and check whether the lid closes. The lid should fit snugly on all sides with no gaps. You can also use freeze-dried berries instead of sugar beets. They will add more flavor and will create an additional wow effect. Check whether the lids close well and proceed to the final stage. Now let's heat the lids with the burner and attach them to the bottoms. Begin heating from the center, then go over the edges several times to slightly melt the top layer. Then turn the lid over and gently press it onto the bottom part. It's important for the parts to glue together well and not get deformed in the process. Leave it to cool. Do not pick the lollipop up right away. Give it time to set and harden. Do the same with the remaining lollipops. and enjoy the result. The beads inside are simply mesmerizing. Now let's move on to the maze. The principle of operation is slightly different than with the previous rattles. For one thing, we will not heat the bottom part with a burner to not melt the partitions within since they are very thin and will not survive the heating. Pay attention to the thickness of the lid. The smaller it is, the neater and the more beautiful your lollipop will be. The walls of the mold are quite high, and if you pour the ice malt in up to the brim, the lid will come out too massive. Secondly, the skewer will be attached to the bottom of the lollipop, not to the lid. So it will be a little more difficult to attach considering that there is nothing to hold it by. To begin with, heat the lid with a burner for it to become totally transparent. The lollipop is quite large and heavy, so for better fixation, also heat the edges of the bottom part and then the edges of the lid once more. Carefully turn the lid over. For this, you can also use the spatula and cover the bottom. Press down well and leave to cool. Look how beautiful it is. It could be a fun toy, not only for children, but for adults as well. Lollipop rattles can be used as cake decor or can be wrapped individually for sweet table decoration. Isomalt can be dyed any color. And what a delight it would be if you would also place a sugar picture inside. If you've not yet learned how to make lollipops with pictures, there is such a lesson in our course, and I will be happy to help you with the process. Please note that small beads might be a hazard to children under three years of age. I hope this video was useful, and I will be very glad if it encourages you to create such unusual lollipops. We plan to release even more new videos and courses to make the work of pastry chefs easier and more enjoyable. So subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in a particular topic for a new video, please write about it in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.